What's going on YouTube? <clears throat> it's your boy Jeff. Back at this shit again. Um, pretty much today I'm just going to go ahead and as I've seen a couple other videos here, kind of go over maybe an idea or two on a uh, tripod stand for say your, fo your, your phone. Whether it's to watch a video, record a video, um, what have you. Um, sometimes it's easier or more beneficial to have something to hold your device for you. Um, in my case, it is my source of recording at this time. Um, here, I've got my iPhone 6 Plus, um, which I upgraded from to my new iPhone 6S, which I'm currently recording from this device right here, as you can see my hand. Um, so a little double record here, um, kind of just to give an idea what it is we're doing today and as you can see i've gone ahead and i've made a very simple tripod here um, out of a used toilet paper dispenser i'm taking a box cutter um, let's go ahead and take the phone off here <clears throat> and as you can see i cut two slots kind of square um, brought them in kind of deep so that way the phone wouldn't fall off now this works perfectly fine for my iPhone 6s um, due to the fact that it is smaller. Um, however, as you can tell, it's not really all that sturdy. Um, it makes it rather top heavy and one false move and your phone is on the ground with a potentially broken screen. Now again, I went ahead and I made this simply using a box cutter. You have to get it positioned quite right or else it's gonna fall over. Today, <clears throat> what I'm gonna also go ahead and do, we're gonna go ahead and take this seemingly useless box top from the old iPhone 6 Plus. I'm gonna go ahead and cut some marks into it and then uh, potentially have a more supportive stand. Um, something that's got a little bit of uh, stability. Um, that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting the marks now so that way I don't cut myself while holding the phone and uh, we'll pick it up from there. All right, now you may not see it here. Oh, nope, there it is, there we go. I went ahead and I made a good indicator as to where I'm looking to cut. Um, this cardboard is a little bit thicker than I had anticipated, so I may need to get some scissors involved, but I'm hoping that I got it lined up quite well. Just eyeballing it here. It, it's rather close if you take it into account of depth perception. So I'm going to go ahead and take some scissors to this box, mark it up, and uh, we'll continue on from there. All right. Here you can see I'm using the iPhone 6S here to kind of showcase what I've done so far. Um, scissors proved to be pointless, useless. Matter of fact, um, the cardboard was just way too thick. Um, so I went ahead and I did go ahead and use just a standard box cutter to go ahead and get the get the notches cut out there. Let's see. Mm, not the best job, but it serves the purpose for what I'm going to be using it for anyway, which is holding up the device and using it to help me bring the camera to my face. So a couple ideas there for you. Um, this one is also really good as a TV stand. As you can see, the, the box doesn't go too far up beyond the screen. Um, so it's not going to prevent you from being able to view. Um, as you could tell, it's not weighted. And so with a charging cord attached to the device, it could wobble or move. Um, <clears throat> but, um, this is just one of many, many, many styles of tripods because as you've seen before and what I've used in previous videos before, um, something as simple as this can get you quite the ways. Um, although I do think that this one kind of gives me a better angle. Um, it also gives me a lot more work. If I wanted to, I could add some slants to the back of it to kind of project it up further if I wanted to. Um, but I think this angle for myself, where I'm going to be producing most of my videos, 
um, there this is going to be pretty much standard for me um, if this is a good concept idea on how to recycle your old iPhone box um, and give it a new purpose as well as help you in your future videos with YouTube definitely leave a like at the bottom of the page um, also feel free to subscribe um, and uh, leave comments in regards to what you would like to watch on my channel um, again this this channel is going to be tailored and updated as frequent and as constant as I could possibly make it and I need the help from you the viewers to be able to make it to where I put up content that you're actually going to be interested in. So leave a comment, tell me what you think, give me ideas, I can make more more tripods, more stands, I can do some more do-it-yourself stuff, um, just leave a comment and uh, I'll read every single one of them um, as, thoroughly, as thoroughly, thoroughly excuse me, as I can um, and, uh, and hope to uh, aim to please the masses as well as the the not so mass um, cuz there are those <clears throat> there are those odd requests that not everybody gets to hear um, something you might see on my channel within the next couple of weeks um, I actually bet my fiance that with her new job she couldn't make uh, that she could make the amount of sales and to kind of uh, lift her spirits if she could get um, 15 sales within a week's time frame um, for DirecTV then I was gonna go ahead and show up on my channel here on YouTube um, playing Pokemon Go while wearing a skirt um, one of her skirts out in public um, that's something that you think you'd be interested in seeing leave a comment um, I have no shame <laughs> so <clears throat> feel free to leave a comment leave a suggestion um, tips, advice, ideas for movies, videos, um, and uh, I will definitely do what I can to produce. Um, but again, it's Jeff. Um, this video will be edited and um, uh, I guess viewed on YouTube with the help of GoPro Splice. Um, that being said, until another time YouTube, it's Jeff. Hope you have a great rest of your day.